Have you ever heard of the secularization process? It began in the early 19th century. I've heard Mormonism called the great social experiment. If it is, it's a, you know, an experiment in communism. Regardless, the, they have authority. They come into Utah and establish that territory. They do it with basically impunity. The point is, is that there's a separation of church and state. And for some reason, this agency, this Illuminati front cult, was now Utah, and established a despotic theocracy. This is a chart describing it. I'm going to start up here and work down, and then go up here and work down in photographs. It says, Decree of Spanish Cortez, January 4, 1813, reducing vacant and common lands to private property and forbidding the transfer of any such lands to be held in Mort, Maine. Decree of Spanish Cortez, September 13, 1813, providing that reductions and doctrinas of ten-year standing cat be delivered immediately to the secular clergy. And then this one down here. Stop it, cat. He's grabbing my camera. Decree of Mexican Congress, August 17, 18... Uh, Eighteen thirty three making each mission a parish for which curates are to be appointed and directing cost of secularization to be paid from income of pious fund. If you read this you'll find, you know, nunnery, house of detention for neophyte children to be abolished at once, children to be given up to parents. This gives a list of missions secularized in eighteen thirty four, thirty five, thirty six and missions sold. It's a complex subject secularization but you know what the word means and here's my question how did the Mormon theocratic despotism intrude itself into the territory of Mexico knowing what was going to happen next so here's what we're going to look at while I'm rambling on this map comes with the uh, the book and you can find it if you google it it probably cost you about a hundred bucks but you get these really cool maps this 1910 I think. Alright, so the Mormons come in here and establish themselves in this territory map that's going to be become the Gadsden Purchase after the war with Mexico. Right? Catholic Spanish influence is being withdrawn here. The secularization process has to do with abandoning these missions. Okay, All these missions and John C. Fremont is marching in here and he goes to these missions. That's a whole, it's a whole long, complicated story. I can't get into it. I want you to read that chart if this subject interests you. And I'll go ahead, actually, and photograph this map, too. You're right here is Mountain Meadows. It's part of that road I've shown on other videos. You can see the Spanish did not exploit this area like they should have. You know, when those Freemason Brits came over here, they went fucking nuts. You know the Jesuits were expelled from the United States? They came right back in, right behind George Washington. Yes, they did. These maps have only been out one other time from the book, you know, and they're 100 and, 102 years old now. And I got little pinholes. They're going back in now.